Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to do half-life calculations. Here we have a typical question. An isotope has a half-life of 6 hours, what percentage will be left after 24 hours? The most foolproof way to answer a question like this is to draw a timeline. My timeline is going to have three rows to it. Half-lives, time, in this case measured in hours, and percentage, so that is the percentage that's remaining of an isotope. So let's begin here at uh, zero, time zero, so at the start of our timeline we have uh, zero half-lives have passed, we have a time of zero hours and the percentage remaining is 100%. Each half-life is six hours, so let's go up in steps of six hours, so six, 12, 18 and 24 would be one, two, three, four half-lives. So after one half-life, 100 will have halved to become 50, then it will halve again to become 25, and again to 12.5, and finally it will halve to 6.25. So 6.25 is our answer, that is the percentage, 6.25% of this isotope that will be left after 24 hours. Here's another question. Carbon-14 has a half-life of around 6,000 years. If the initial activity rate of this carbon-14 is 200 counts per minute, how long will it take for this rate to fall below 10 counts per minute? So once again, we can start by drawing a timeline. So half-lives, time, this time in years, and activity. We know that at our starting time, that is zero half-lives, zero years, we have a starting activity of 200. We don't know the final time, this is what we're finding out, so let's start by working along our activity line here. So we just need to keep halving this number until we get to 10. 200 halves to 100, 100 halves to 50, then to 25, then to 12.5, finally 6.25. We can stop here because we're looking for when the time is below 10 counts per minute. So let's see how many half-lives that is. That's one, two, three, four, five half-lives, which means that the time will be 6,000 years per half-life. So that's 6,000, 12,000, 18,000, 24,000, and the final answer then will be 30,000 years. If you'd like to learn how to solve some more challenging half-life problems, click on one of the buttons on your screen now. You can choose between a GCSE exam question from the OCR 21st Century Science Spec from June 2013, or a couple of questions from the Oxford Physics Aptitude Test, that's the entrance exam for Oxford University.